Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good anytime. This is the weekly holiday show. I'm your host, Mr. James, still in the winter edition. It is not spring yet. It seems like it where I am many times, but uh, we have a snowstorm coming in one day, so it's going to seem like winter again. So sorry about this. That's why still looks like it's blue on my screen. Sorry. I'm Mr. James anyways, and here are your selected holidays for the week of March 6th through the 12th. We start on Monday and let's do this frozen food day on Monday. Where would we be without frozen foods? There's so many things that I use that I need to freeze, vegetables, fruits, that would go bad. I just can't eat enough of them uh, when I buy them. And I don't wanna go shopping every single day. So frozen foods, that's that's kinda how I live. Freezing things is something I need to do. My uh, daily smoothie that I have in the morning has ingredients that need to be frozen. I don't suggest anyone go outside and put their tongue on a metal pole like the Bitmoji here. That's kind of from a movie uh, called, I believe, A Christmas Story. Don't do that. But freeze food that you know uh, is you want to last and you want to uh, not wilt and stay good. Uh, I think 1950s, uh, a company named Schwann's came up with frozen dinners and it kind of changed everything. And people go, whoa, frozen food? Should we do that? And, you know, since then, go to the grocery store. We have these big, these two, usually at least two aisles of frozen foods. So really important. And yeah, can't say enough about that. It's really good. Tuesday, flapjack day. That's something else that I really like. Flapjacks, pancakes, you might want to call them. Plords, uh, uh, hmm, crepes. I don't know. There's so many different versions of these, whether they're thinner, they're thicker. Uh, but if you've had pancakes before, it's basically uh, flour, some sort of like water or liquid, maybe a little bit of oil, some seasoning. There you go. Mix it together, throw it on a hot griddle, basically a flat surface, hot, flat surface, and flip it over when it needs to. And there you go. Make as many as you can eat. Good for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever you want. Uh, here's an easy recipe, and I because I make my own, uh, and it is... Uh, one cup of oatmeal, put this all in the blender, by the way, one cup of oatmeal, two bananas, half a cup of any sort of milk. I tend to use almond milk. Uh, throw a little bit of some seasoning in, like some cinnamon and such, and there you go. Put it in the blender, blend it up, make some pancakes. They're delicious. Add whatever you want on top of the pancakes. You can add some chocolate chips. You can add maple syrup, add some butter, add more fruit. So good and good for you and simple. And people have been eating these for a long time because it's just one of these simple, simple things. It's like it's like baking bread, only simpler. <laughs> and bread, believe me, our entire society lives off of bread. Wednesday, it's International Women's Day. It should be that every single day, honestly. It says international, which means it's around the world, not just the US, but honestly, every single day should be Women's Day. Every day should be every day, everyone's day. I mean, honestly, the reason why we have a day like this one day, they say a year, is because we need to recognize people that we marginalize, which just means when people think of history, they think of men, right? When they think of certain things, professions, they generally think of boys, men, whatever, first when they should be thinking of both men and women. And that's why a day like this happens so that we recognize that, wow, have we given the support that women need? Have we respected them the same way we respect men? And that's basically what this day is about. Now, there are more genders than just two. And there's so many things we can talk about with this. Uh, just know that all these holidays are things that we can think about and, oh, huh, I didn't know that was a thing. Something like that. Uh, and just one of these things that maybe you can think about a little bit and give someone a little bit more respect. Uh, not just on that day, but like from now on. Thursday, it's World Kidney Day. Now you have two kidneys in your body. And these kidneys are, it's an organ. They're organs that filter uh, uh, blood, help you make urine, now you go to the bathroom and such, uh, but you definitely need them to filter out uh, the blood in your body. Uh, because if you don't, 
a lot of bad things can happen. And when they don't work properly, you have to go on dialysis, which is like a machine that cleans your blood for you. Uh, and you have to do it many times during the week. I know I actually have a brother that is on this. Uh, and just want to recognize that take care of parts of your body, the parts you can't see inside. You know, you have different organs that help you do different things. You breathe in, right? You can smell, you know, you have a heart, you have a brain, but there's so many other things inside your body that help you, uh, to function, to live and eating the right foods, drinking enough water, taking care of yourself in general. It's one of these things we could do to make sure we stay healthy and just recognize that sometimes things happen just because of genetics or accidents or who knows, and people need a little bit of care. So always know that someone somewhere might be suffering in some way. And if you can help them do what you can. Friday, it is Mario day and it doesn't really have anything to do with me being a teddy bear. It has to do with that game Mario, right? From Nintendo. I believe that came out in 1983 or 85. Hmm, I'm wondering, but Mario has been a character for a long time and people tend to love, uh, the, Nintendo Mario games, uh, or Luigi or any of those other characters that Nintendo made up. Uh, they've kind of been part of the culture for a very long time, especially when I was growing up, uh, in the mid late eighties, I, I knew a lot about Mario and such. And it's just one of these things where you just recognize that some amazing artists made these. And there's a lot that goes into making video games, especially now there's a lot of things to make video games, but Recognize that people make entertainment and they're doing it for you and they care. Saturday, it is tools day. Do it yourself. That's what DIY means, tools. Think of all the tools we use. I mean, honestly, everything is a tool. I'm wearing computer glasses right now. It's a tool so I can uh, rest my eyes a little bit. I use pencils. I use pens. I play instruments. They're tools. Otherwise, it would just be me making sounds with my mouth and my body. I mean, honestly, I don't think that's going to cover parts that I have to play guitar on. So tools are important. Recognize when things are a tool and recognize that a tool is a tool. It doesn't take the place of you. You are an important person. You have things to do. Using the right tool will help you do it faster and more efficiently and get things done. And that's just the most important thing with tools. Sunday, last one is Girl Scout Day. Now, the Girl Scouts were started in 1912 in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, and a person just basically wanted to help uh, girls that, you know, definitely didn't get the support always that they needed in society uh, to help around with the community, help and, and maybe go on uh, hikes and such, learn about nature and kind of give them the support they need to be like, you can do anything you want. You know, you might not learn about that in school, but I'm telling you, you can. And the Girl Scouts have been a driving force for helping girls to recognize their potential and understand uh, how they can fit in the world ever since. Yes, they have the Boy Scouts as well. And yeah, and the Girl Scouts, and I believe even the Boy Scouts sell cookies, or maybe it's just the Girl, girl Scouts. I don't know. A lot of people understand the cookies with Girl Scouts more than anything, but just realize it's an organization to help people to recognize uh, their potential and to do a lot of amazing things. And yeah, just to better ourselves because we want to be better people. We want to help people out. And I did something like this uh, as an adult uh, called uh, AmeriCorps, where it's basically like Peace Corps or Job Corps, or whatever, where you just basically help others out and you just work together, volunteer. And I like that. I, I, I would keep doing it if I wasn't so busy with other jobs, but Girl Scouts kind of like that and really important. So anyways, celebrate something this week and uh, yeah, stay warm. Mm -hmm.